Now let's have a chat about a dispute which commonly arises between the contractor and the client or the fittic engineer. The issue is related to the contractor's obligations in relation to the coordination of his works with other contractors hired by the employer. As you're probably aware, the fittic red book is a standard form of construction contract which is recommended for building or engineering works designed by the employer. The contractor's argument generally revolves around the fact that according to the fittic red book, he is just a builder and that his obligations in relation to coordination should be limited to his works and his subcontractor's works only. The employer's or the engineer's argument is that the contractor is responsible for cooperating with other contractors according to subclauses 4.4, 4.6, which requires the contractor to cooperate with other contractors hired by the employer, and finally, subclause 4.1, which states that the contractor is responsible for the adequacy, stability, and safety of all site operations and of all methods of construction. So who's right? In this case, the contractor is right. Now let's back up that conclusion contractually. Subclause 4.4 does state that the contractor is responsible for the acts of any subcontractor. However, this does not mean that the contractor is responsible for the employer subcontractors as well. This is not the intent of the subclause. Furthermore, under subclause 4.6, the employer subcontractors are termed as other contractors employed by the employer, not subcontractors. Another critical point to note is that the FIDIC Red Book omits one paragraph from subclause 4.6 which is present in other FIDIC standard forms of contract i.e. the Yellow Book or the EPC Turnkey Projects. This omitted paragraph requires the contractor to coordinate his activities with other contractors employed by the employer to the extent specified under the employer's requirements. To conclude, under the FIDIC Red Book, the contractor is not required to coordinate his activities with other contractors employed by the employer. Sometimes you have to read a few contracts in order to understand the intent behind each one. That's all. Thank you for watching.